Okay, in this last tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a slideshow carousel for your site uh, to create kind of like a nice focal point for your viewers. Um, and so one way to create a good focal point really is if you go to the documentation and click on um, components, there is this really cool um, component called Jumbotron, okay, and that is basically a really nice way to create a a focal point for the viewer. So we can go ahead and press copy and I'm going to go ahead and paste that um, right below my navigation. Okay, so above my layout but uh, after my navigation. And what that's going to do is, especially for a home page, it's a nice way to create a good, you know, call to action for a first time visitor. And there are lots of ways to customize the Jumbotron if you want to. You can go into your custom CSS and you can do a, just a dot jumbotron and do a, just a background color red. You know, you probably wouldn't want red, but um, you know, you can change the background color, you can change the background image, um, and you can add all kinds of CSS to, to change that. Um, and you'll notice um, that I've, I've changed some of my CSS code. And I would recommend that you write this down and use this instead. Um, I noticed that some issues were happening with my navigation when I hovered over these buttons. Um, it, I, I wanted kind of a hover, you know, if you go to a particular page, you would want it to probably hover. And then also it was messing up my um, home icon here uh, on my other pages. So uh, this, this home button was, the home was, was being white all, at all times. I didn't want that. And so anyway, I added this code. And if you add that into your site, you'll see that you can add whatever color you want and whatever hover you want as well. I created a hover. So if you co copy down that code, you can create your own hover. Um, so I also wanted to mention that if you had icons, you can also tweak them to um, change the margin in between them. If you just look at some CSS code, you can add that in yourself. But anyway, just wanted to throw that in there uh, as I added in this Jumbotron code. Um, you probably noticed that this was different as well. So anyway, just wanted to make mention of that. You might want to update the code there. Um, so anyway, you may want to create a Jumbotron, but another really good way to create a focal point is by creating a carousel, a slideshow. Okay, so if I go to the Bootstrap website, I can click on Carousel, and they have all these really great, um, just very nice little slideshows that you can add to your site whether it's a home page slider or it's a particular page on your site that you want to make into a gallery, they have all kinds of different options for you. So I'm going to choose this one um, with indicators. Okay, so it's the second example, that, they, or I think it's the third that they provide. Anyway, it's the one with indicators. I'm going to go ahead and grab that code and copy it. And I'm going to paste it in place of my Jumbotron. Okay, so whether you want to, if you want to keep a Jumbotron, that's totally fine. Um, I'm going to replace my Jumbotron with the slideshow. Okay, and just to kind of walk through some of this code here, you'll notice the whole entire slideshow is one really large div. Uh, the OL that you see is actually the indicators, okay, that you, when you go from slide to slide, if you click on a particular indicator, one of those horizontal lines, it'll take you to a particular slide of the slideshow. And, um, I wanted to create a slideshow that has five images in it, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And instead of having zero, one, two of them, zero counts, so the zeroth one is actually first. So one, two, three, there, there are three of those lines. That's what each of these lines are, zero, one, two, and three. And I would just copy this line of code here, and if I wanted to make five of them, just paste it in twice more. And instead of 0, 1, 2, 2, 2, it would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so these are going to be, there should be five horizontal lines now. Now down here I've got a div, carousel inner, class carousel inner, that is containing all of my, actually going from here to here, it's, it's containing three images. This uh, image is surrounded by a carousel item and it's active, and what that means is that it's gonna be the first item that goes through the slideshow. 
so that div opens the image code is right here and then it closes okay so I have one slide two slides and three slides now if I want to make any more I would just copy that code and paste it twice more making sure that I'm still within my carousel inner div okay so notice that this one this one they're all inside the larger carousel inner div and that's where spacing really helps out okay so this is where I want to actually type in my um, source code for each of the images and I'll do that here in a second now down here I've got my indicators right and left the previous and next buttons okay so there's really not that much um, code happening here and it's pretty easy to create a slideshow with this so the first thing I would recommend when you are um, adding any slides to a slideshow in Bootstrap is that you resize them all to be exactly the same size. So I'm going to go into Photoshop and I'm just going to do a file open and I'm going to open in my downloads folder these three images that I have of birds. Okay, And um, if you don't have Photoshop, you can use another really great program called Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R dot com. And Pixlr has a web app that is called the editor. Okay, and if you launch it, it looks just like Photoshop, and I can open those images right from um, here as well. And uh, it's a great tool to crop images, change, I mean, it's, it's kind of a web version of Photoshop. I love it. So anyway, I, I'll use those interchangeably. But um, if I wanted this slideshow to be a big banner um, slider that we see on a lot of websites, um, I'm going to go ahead and click on the one, two, three, four, fifth button here. It's the crop tool. And I'm going to tell it exactly up here in the control menu, um, instead of a ratio, choosing a ratio, I want to go width by height by resolution. And um, for a nice big horizontal slider, I'm going to go ahead and do a 1200 pixel by, let's say, um, 450. I think is a pretty decent, decent slide. Uh, resolution and then depending on whether you think your users will have retina screen display or not I'm just going to leave mine at 72 pixels per inch I think that'll be pretty decent uh, once you do that 1200 by 450 by 72 you can then choose exactly how you want that to look once it's cropped okay so using the rule of thirds I might want the eyeball to meet this particular you know crosshair that might be one way to do it once you've selected the crop, you can press the checkbox and that will commit the crop. And now basically what happened is it converted that, you know, frame into being exactly 1200 pixels wide by 450 tall at 72 pixels per inch. You can do the same thing here in um, Pixlr. If you click the crop tool, you can choose up here uh, the output size. Okay, instead of no restriction, you can choose output size. From here you can choose, you know, 1200 by 450. You don't have to type in pixels here because um, it's already in pixels, it's already on the web. And now when you resize this, when you choose, just like we did with, um, with Photoshop, you can, you know, draw the box and it will constrain it to the output size of exactly 1200 by 450. Once you've chosen your crop, just press enter. And we can do a file, save. And I'll go ahead and save it um, with the highest quality I can. I'll save it on my computer as um, slide one. Okay, and press okay. And I'll put it in my download, oh uh, no, I wanna put it in my folder, my wakeboarding folder. And I realize now that I probably don't wanna do pictures of birds for a wakeboarding site, but live with it. All right, let me go ahead and save it here. Now that's saving it in uh, Pixlr. Let me go back to Photoshop. I'll show you how to save it here. Just do File, Save As, and go to my desktop, find the wakeboarding site, and I want to rename this to be slide2.jpg. And then I have a third one here. I can just, now that I've set my parameters, 1200 by 450, I can choose the crop tool, and all I have to do is just drag it and commit the crop with the checkbox and it works exactly the same way. Just again, do a file, save as, and I'm going to save it into my wakeboarding slash bird folder now. 
um, I'll call this slide three dot JPG and there I have it okay so again just a good rule of thumb when you're working with the slideshow in um, in bootstrap you want them all to be cropped to the exact same size otherwise it'll resize your website depending on how that image looks now I'm gonna call my image source is gonna be slide one dot JPG this one's gonna be slide two jpg as long as those files are along with my and just because I don't have any more than three I'm just gonna paste in this a couple more times I'll go two and then three again why not okay so there those are my slides I am going to go to my site now and refresh it and now I have a nice little slideshow with all these indicators. Okay, very nice for a good looking home page. You can also add in some captions. Okay, and that's over in the Get Bootstrap website. Below the image source, you can add this div class of carousel caption. Okay, you can copy that from the Bootstrap website, and again, it goes below the image code, okay? So I had the image code here already, so I don't wanna recopy that. All I did was I grabbed the div class of carousel caption. And space that out a little bit better. Okay, so title here, text here, okay? And again, it's just the div class for the caption. You don't need the image code, right? You already have that. Okay, so if I go back to the site and refresh it, now I've got some nice little text. Very cool. And you can go into your style sheet, custom.css, and using your carousel caption div class, you can maybe do like a carousel caption. Let's do like background colored black. You know, that will make it so it actually shows up. Now you probably wouldn't want um, it to be just black black. You could also do some code to make it opaque um, and work with the opacity a little bit. But anyway, that's just one, one thing you might want to do uh, to your carousel caption. You can do any kind of customization here with your custom code. Um, so that works all well and good for the home page, but if you wanted a slideshow on a particular page, so say on your, I don't know, tutorial page, you wanted a slideshow and you wanted to place the slideshow um, as a you know step-by-step -step tutorial slideshow or something. Well, then I would go to the tutorials page. Actually, um, I'm basically gonna do what I did here. Um, so I'm gonna copy all of that code from my slideshow here because it already works. And I'm going to go to my tutorials page and I'm going to go to the area that I want it to show up in. So say for my tutorials, I wanted it to be a full width. Uh, or let's do a half and half. Um, so it's two columns. I could have just used that second one, but oh well. All right, so say um, in this first column, that's where I wanted to put my slideshow. Okay. Basically, I would empty it of anything that was in there, and um, I would just paste in the code. And as long as you paste in the code in the right place, um, that particular slideshow will pop up wherever you put it. In this case, it's a half and half. Now, I would recommend for a page not to go 1,200 pixels by 450. I think that's what we chose here. I would choose something more like 1,200 by 800, you know, make it more of a... Um, you know, a square looking slideshow or a panorama uh, landscape rather than, um, you know, so wide. Um, but anyway, it's up to you how you want that to look. So anyway, those are just some, some nice uh, features of Bootstrap and building a site that looks nice and pretty simple. And um, yeah, so that should do it for Bootstrap.